Okay, guys, we're out here today, and I'll tell you what, if you guys, like, literally watch every single video, you may be noticing something new right now, something a little bit different, but you may not know what it is right off. But what it actually is, is the quality of video. Now, I didn't get a new camera, but I've actually downgraded to my last camera that I used to use like a year ago. As much as I'd like to say we're doing a throwback Thursday theme and going back to the old camera, that's not exactly the case. The reason I went back to the old camera is because the new camera... I kind of broke it. But don't worry, guys. This quality of video, we should be back to higher quality soon. Now, right beside me here, we have my new gun. Now, I actually bought this gun about a month ago, but I'm just now getting around to, you know, making a video off of it. What this is, is a Ruger American Predator, and I got this one in 223 caliber. It is a bolt gun, as you can see right here. It works off a of bolt action. Originally, this gun didn't come with a scope or bipod, but, you know, I put those on separately. Now, from what I've heard about everything, you know, this is a good quality gun. It ran at straight, I believe it was like right around $400 exactly. Well, like I was saying from the reviews I've read about it, it should be worth every single penny. Now, the way this thing feeds bullets is by a clip right here. This is like a round mag where, you know, the bullets like go in a circle around it. But it's supposed to hold five rounds. I've got six in it before, so, you know. But right now here today, we're going to shoot it and break it in. We got two jugs out there and a little Gatorade bottle right there. Actually, I'll just zoom in and see. See? Two water jugs, I mean milk jugs, and that little Gatorade bottle in the middle. Now before we start shooting this baby, I just want to let y'all know, if you're not in the Gray Gang and you're not subscribed, go on down there, make that happen right now. Hit the subscribe button. Because we are literally about to send 80 rounds through this thing. There's 40 right there. Reach down in my other pocket. And here we have 40 more. Now the reason we're going to shoot so many bullets out of this thing right now is because it is a new gun and you have to break it in. And I'll be completely honest guys, I didn't know you had to do this, but I learned this yesterday at school and here's what I learned. When you have a brand new gun, you need to, you know, break it in. You can't sight it in right away. And the reason is because the gun is so new and the barrel is so new that you need to send a pretty good amount of it to, you know, break off the really sharp edges of the rifle. But anyways guys, without a further ado, we're going to shoot this thing and, you know, break it in a little bit. Hopefully we can still hit a few uh, close range targets like those jugs. Okay guys, go and put my um, uh, eye protection up here, ear protection. I actually forgot it, so I had to go back in and get it. But here we are, we're going to be safe about this. I'm going to come over here, get the clip out of the gun. Get about 20, uh, 20 things of ammo, I guess. Now I've done said this, but that rifle right there, it is chambered in 223. Basically the same thing as 556, but I'm going to be shooting 223. That is the bullet right there. Pretty, you know... It should go some distance, and this bullet is very, very quick. This exact ammo right here, I think it goes, what, 2,800 feet per second, something like that? Um, yeah, I'm not sure how fast it goes, but at a 300 yards, it'll drop 9 inches. Remember whenever I was shooting that 22 long range? At 270 yards, it was dropping 8 feet. So, you know, these are going a whole lot quicker. But anyways, here we go. Got the little uh, round mag here, just going to slide them in. And keep doing that until we get about five, six, something like that in there. See right here we have four, there's five, and I think I can probably get this sixth one in here. Definitely going to try it. Um, yeah, and boom, I got six in there. Now let's shoot the sucker. Oh yeah, here we go. Magazine is in. Ear protection is in. Eye protection is on. We're going to aim for the... That milk jug right there. I'll zoom y'all in here a little bit. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Weapons free. Oh, my goodness. Hit fire. Oh! Wow. Now, that was something there. Y'all saw that. Replay. Hit fire. Oh! I just hit fired that. That was stinking Call of Duty no scope. I'm gonna try to hit that Gatorade bottle. Have I got one more? Oh, I do. I did not have ear protection, and I figured that out very quick. I'm actually surprised, guys. That scope is not sighted in at all, and it hit it like the first shot. That is really awesome. I love that gun. So far, I mean, I've had it, like I said, a month. I've just never really shot it much on camera. But the only complaint I have is that right here, Ruger, I don't know what they were thinking. They put a sticker right there, and it's not even a sticker that comes off. 
it's just there. But I mean like, bro, besides that, this thing is amazing. 10 out of 10, would recommend. But then again, that's only like six shots. We're gonna keep filling that thing up and I'm gonna try hit that Gatorade bottle. Did you see how high that uh, milk jug went? It went flying, bro. It didn't even have any water in it at that point. That was crazy. This is like straight up Call of Duty in real life, bro. Here we go, we're ready again. Now I'm gonna aim this time. It is ready. Safe is on. I'm going to zoom y'all in on that uh, little uh, Gatorade bottle right there. Here we go. And it is gone. I'm just going to shoot in the dirt right behind it. Alright, that's all I got. That is actually like really cool. Let's go look at the damage on that thing. I'm talking this 223, it just destroys these things. And the reason is because like I said, it's going so fast. It's going almost three times as fast as a little 22. Here's this milk jug right here. I think I hit it a few times, but oh my gosh, I destroyed that thing. Over here's that other one. I slung it. I'm talking, I had it set over there on that piece of wood, and now it's over here and covered with mud. And then over here at this water bottle, I just hit him one time right there in the bottom, and it just flattened it. And even over here in the dirt, I wrecked it. Did I do that? There's no way I done that. There's no way I done all that with that gun. I know I done this, but I didn't do that, did I? I don't know, but if I did that, that is a... Uh... Well, good luck, coyotes, because I'm coming for you, brother. I'm coming for you. That is a mean gun. That is a mean gun, people. I mean, I guess y'all can just watch me from the side this time, see how much it kicks. Which, I mean, it is just a 223, and 223s are sort of known not to kick, so it doesn't really kick much. And that particular gun right there, it's got like a two-inch butt pad on it, so I, c I can barely even feel it at all. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna let y'all see how much it kicks. I just destroyed a brick, guys. And whenever I was talking about last time the barrel was hot, Oh, it's real hot right now. I could probably fry an egg on that thing. You gotta break it in somehow. Gotta get the, you know, the ridges off the rifling, so... I believe we're definitely getting that done here today. As of now, shot probably, I don't know, 18 something rounds through it. No complaints at all. Okay, guys, right now it's actually starting to rain. And because this is a brand new gun, I don't have much interest in, you know, letting it get rusted. I've got four shots left of this particular box of ammo. I'm just going to shoot them into that bank as fast as I can. So here we go. Four shots as fast as I can. Let's go. Oh. There we go. That's as quick as I can go. But like I said, guys, it is raining, and I do not want to have a rusty gun, so let's go. But as we're heading back to the house, remember my other bolt action rifle that's actually a 22? Well, I need to clean it right now, because, you know, well, I'll show you down in the basement. But right now, we're going to go clean my other gun. So right now, we're in the basement. It looks a whole lot different from yesterday's video, because yesterday's video, we had a whole lot better camera. But anyways, what we have here, this is my 22 long rifle bolt action. It's a little marlin. Here's the problem, okay? Watch the bolt. Nothing exactly wrong with it. It's just, you know, not as smooth as it could be. And definitely not as smooth as that new gun. And I'm pretty sure the only thing that's wrong with it is it needs clean. And that's why I have a big old thing of uh, paper towels here and some Rimmel. As I was talking to my friends, I said, okay, so, you know, whenever I work the bolt, it's just not smooth. What should I do? He said, alrighty, it's simple. Just pull, it, pull the bolt out, clean it, put just a little bit of oil on it, and you should be good to go. So the first step today is taking the bolt out. Now, if you don't know how to take the bolt out of a bolt action rifle, it's actually a whole lot simpler than you may think. Here's all you do. You pop, pop the bolt up a little bit, and you're going to pull the trigger and pull the bolt out. It's literally that simple. And whenever I figured it out, I was like going crazy because it is like so simple. Now, I will say that most bolt action rifles are like this. The new Ruger American rifle I got, it's actually a little bit different. So now, right now, all we're going to do with this bolt is, you know, just get some of this and simple. Just a... Uh, just wipe it off here. Get, get a lot of that grit and uh, unburnt gunpowder off of it. Because that, that's what is, uh, you know, hanging it up, making it not smooth. So now that we got the bolt itself cleaned and, you know, wiped off, now we need to clean the inside of, like, the, what do you call this? The chamber where the bolt actually goes into it. And so what I'm going to do for this is I'm actually, you know, just going to get another paper towel here. And just try my best, you know, stick my finger down in here and just clean it out. I will say I'm not an expert, guys. I'm not an expert at all. But I'm going to try to do this the best I can, and hopefully it'll work out. That's basically how my life goes. And so, guys, here is the little uh, little paper towels after I got done using them. As you can see, 
see, like, in there, it was pretty gunked up, and it was pretty bad, too. Now, what they said is that whenever you put it back in there, put it, put a little bit of oil on it, but not much at all. So, I've just got a little bit of rim oil, and I'm just going to put a drop here, and a drop here, and, you know, just whirl it around and try to evenly distribute, I guess, that right there. Now, that right there should be good. The way that you put a bolt back in is exactly the same as you take it out. You just push it in a little bit, then you're going to pull the trigger same way. Stick it on in. Now, that, that is smooth right there. A whole lot smoother. While I'm sitting here working my bolt back and forth, I just want to let y'all know, if you like the hat I'm wearing, like this is the SSOG Mark II hat. It's got letters on the back right there. If you'd like one, pick them up, kindlegrade1.com slash shop, or like, you know, the link in the description. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, it's called This Is A Serious Video, or something like that, you need to watch it, because it's actually very important. And if you've not watched it all the way to the end, please do that too, because, you know, the important stuff is actually at the end of the video. But before you head on over there and do that, go ahead, hit the like button on this video. I just spent $8 of ammo in this video. I need your likes, people. Because ammo does not buy itself, I promise. Thanks for watching Kendall Gray's video this week. He's putting all his time and effort into, into us and his YouTube. So uh, go ahead and give him a like and a subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. He's out here in God's creation making us great videos. Peace. Hashtag Jesus.